Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 5 on the Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the PlayStation 2. I'm your Game Master Darius, last we left off. We had ground on Napalm Man stage for max E-Tanks, which again, despite the fact that they show double digits, is only a maximum of 9. And uh, we can only have one M-Tank, or W-Tank, at a time, well, yeah, which is a little bit bleh, but hey, hey, you know, Stone Man. Stone Man, come together with your plan, save me. Anyone? No? Alright. Ah, Metars. Oh, man, the little baby Metars. Eh, little baby Metars that have to die, unfortunately. But they do drop stuff like uh, most any other enemy does. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, maybe the next, next level I'll show it. Not level, but you know what I mean. Maybe here. So, great thing about Gravity Hold. It's a basically screen kill, screen clearing insta kill uh, move, which is pretty fantastic. Let's see. I got these things. Yeah. There we go. Just one there was something to the right in one of these screens. I forget what though. <laughs> uh, but enemies that have that aren't basically one-hit kills will still sk stay on the screen, much like that dude who is throwing the rocks. Annoying bastard. Look at him. Which isn't too too bad. Ah, yes, this room. You gonna take back some gravity hold. Let's see, where was the letter in this area? Really, the rats take more than one hit. I forget where the rats were in this area. Or not where the rats, the letter was. Go away. Gravity Hold really does make it so as it's a little bit easier to clear through these stages. Wait. Um. Gyro Attack. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm trying to use my items more while I'm playing these games. It's just a little bit hard. When most of them don't do anything that useful. <laughs> like, legit, Gravity Hold is, like, the best of them. Uh, I swear this game... ...loves giving me extra lives. What? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I could have sworn... I guess I could be wrong. Happens a lot, let's be honest. There we go. Yeah, I love when they actually have little tellable secrets. Ah, see, now Gravity Hold would have been great on that area right there. Really? This might be the game I'm most familiar with, and it might be the one that I'm all like, ah, yes, I actually like this one. It still has its moments where it's like, mm, nope. Hello, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Didn't need that, but thanks. I only bring that up because I missed that one dude by like, a pixel. Look at that. So many one ups. So many one ups. Game. I don't. Hmm. What was supposed to be in this one? Hardest one to find because it's actually hidden near the beginning of the stage, like for a rock, roadblocks in the wall. Blocks will look different than the rest of the wall. Oh, okay. 
So we're gonna have to come back here. And waste the, uh, nine lives that we have. Ding, ding, ding. Now this guy... ...does this. When he's in that... oh god. When he's in the rubble... ...he is invincible. He does not, however, stop you like, say... ...a certain construction robot does. Really? Yeah. You gotta love the Napalm Man's attack, if only because his attack looks like peanuts that are bouncing all over the ground. Hilarious like that. So I'm gonna jump back into Stone Man stage really quickly. Be all like, hey, I'm here for my G. Uh, I hate that I'm gonna be wasting so many lives. Alright, so near the beginning of the stage. Might be why I might have failed to find it a lot as a kid. Let's see, near the beginning of the stage. Was it down here? Near the beginning of the stage, look for a row of blocks in the wall on the right edge of the screen. The blocks will look different than the rest of the wall. Blast them with your arm cannon. Right edge of the screen? Hmm. Nope, not there. Well. Isn't it great how uh, destruct destructions instructions aren't that clear? So you'll just—I mean, I'll end up losing lives anyway. So I did kind of barrel through this whole area. So the right side of the screen. Where was there a wall of stuff on the right side of this? Oh, here. I just want to... Oh, okay, there it is. Now I can barrel through the rest of this uh, map again, which I will. Because waste not what not when you have like a billion T lives. Those will help me get through the rest of the game, you see. So, be right back. Well, that wasn't such a chore. But that's mostly because it was a relatively easy level. So, after Stone Man, let's go on to Charge Man. I think Charge Man is one of those ones that I remember as a kid being the worst boss when it comes to basically everything. Like, his level was annoying. I mean, so far right now, it's looking like I'm just charging through, but you know what I mean. But the boss himself is going to be a right pain in the ass. Because you see that little choo-choo metar? Well, that's kind of the gimmick of Charge Man himself. He'll be invincible while he does that. As opposed to these guys who are just like, ha ha, and then charging him. Yes, I'm taking a lot of damage, Josh. Let's see, where? I don't want to miss it this time, simply because I just don't want to have to... Charge Bange. Charge Bange. Oop. Yeah. It is neat, though. The way that they pretty much make it like, Oh, I'm on the train. Oh, now I'm off the train. Now I'm on the train, but I'm inside the train. Oh boy. Part of me wants to grind you 
for a little, a little bit more health. A little bit more health. Remember, kids, eat your eggs. This is a good waste of time. <laughs> Anyways. I mean, I don't know why I'm all that worried. I got lives for a reason. Nine of them, incidentally. Pretty sure it was in one of these cars. Yeah, there it is. So, would you believe that as a kid I was stupid? Even nowadays I'm pretty stupid, but... Yeah, for some reason as a kid I didn't ever think to myself, Ah oh, yes! Fresh coil! That's how I'm supposed to get it. No, for some reason I was like, oh man, that's it's freaking impossible. Yeah, how am I supposed to... As a kid, um... Yeah. Even nowadays, it's not much better. They got moles! Anyways. Bad. God, I don't know why I just can't freaking avoid those Metar stuffs. Ah, yes, you. There we go. Alright. So, this guy, Charge Man, his weakness is the Power Stone, aka Stone Man's attack. I just don't remember how the hell to work it. Yeah, when he's charging, he's invincible. Hell, he's pretty damn strong even while he's not charging. Come on. Pretty sure he should be making a bunch of sound effects, too. I love how Power Stone, they knew that Power Stone was not that great of an attack in the first place. So they're like, you know what? Ow. 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 Mm. It's like they were like, we know that Power Stone's kind of a sucky attack in the first place, so let's make it so as you have, you just, it's, you know, hard to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Excellent. So now, after we have defeated Charge Man, uh, oh, thank crap it, it's Wait, wait Man. That's not a good. Oh, thank crap it. That's a little bit of a sarcastic. Oh, crap it. Because Wave Man stage. is neat. Especially in the vein of, um. Mega Man games. When you think about it. Some of it's waiting. Because look, look at this shit. And also, some of this shit. That's some of the gimmick of this stage. At least until you get to the second uh, second part of the stage. Eh, at least it's not like, um, who's a Medusa? it? Not on that deck. Ghost 1.0. Bubbles! I can't believe I remembered that. <laughs> I remember having to replay Wave Man stage a lot, if only simply because the second half of the stage, right here, uh, was annoying to me. So bear in mind too, a lot of the stage is going to be filled with this water, so anyone that might be a little bit of sens sensitive, uh, for the next like five minutes, you might want to look away. What? But, annoyingly, this is where the letter is that we have to find, so gotta keep a close eye out. He's got dolphins. Robo-dolphins. Hey, thanks for the health up.
and an octopus. Nakata, Nakataco. Oh. And no, you cannot charge while on the uh, water scoot. Ski jet, I guess. I guess Ski Jet would be the right name for it. Come on, where is it? Where are you? It's so annoying. No, that was a, a life. Got it! Yes! I think that's the first time ever I've, I've gotten it on the first try. Oh, man. When you know it's coming, it's still harrowing because it, you know, you got like five dolphins that are trying to kill you at the exact same time. Thanks for the life up game. So I'm going to go ahead and die to wave man the first time. Because he is, first off, annoying. His gimmick is that he will pound into the ground cause a little bit of a geyser where you are. Ah, uh, charge kick. Use this, use this attack. And he will also shoot a singular harpoon at you. Yep. So wave kick is kind of like spin... Uh, the spinning attack from Wasabadoo's it. You don't activate it via attacking, though. You activate it via sliding. So it basically gives you a sliding attack, but it also puts you in danger because you are literally pushing yourself into an opponent. So, that's great. That's a, that's a good use of time, energy, existence. Anyways, Wave Man's dead. You got Water Wave. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so. The last one is going to be Starman. Okay. Now, start. Much like Gravity Man had some interesting mechanics, and Wave Man had an interesting mechanic in the uh, water bike, Star Man's is interesting because it's basically a Super Mario Land 2 level. What do I mean by that? Whee! Now, this is both a good and a bad because you will be all like, yeah! in space but you'll want to resist the urge to do that too often because you will run into spikes of which they put a plentiful amount of in this stage I'm probably going to want to get the last few e-tanks that I can carry Alright, spoiks. And... And... M. That's all of them, which now unlocks Beat. An actually pretty interesting mechanic, if you ask me. I say mechanic, it's not so much a mechanic, it's just interesting and it is kind of entirely. Matter of fact, I might use it on a uh, Starman because he is a right pain in the ass. Do that? Alright. I'll take the damage, why not? Ooh. I love how you can actually clear these stages. The rooms of these stages off pretty easily. Ah yes, this guy. He's not immune to charge shots, it's just that it's hard to hit the charge shot because I think his hitbox is just a little bit small. Oh. Gravity. 
Gravity. You get to live. Whee! Oh, Lila. And... Don't know why they have a catapult in space. You would think that much like Mega Man is going all the way up. Their catapults would just keep on going. So these guys aren't hard, you just gotta be careful. I actually prefer them to the Sniper Joe enemies from the first or second game. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna do that in uh, just a hot second. I just wanna see. Storman! So his gimmick is that he has Star Crush, which is a... Um, uh, this. So while you have beat out, he will basically attack any enemy that's on the screen. Problem is, is that apparently he also sees projectiles as enemies. And he will, you know, accidentally hit things that are not actually gonna take damage. Anyways, um, wave, right. I have to use another goddamn E tank. That's fine. Again, I am planning on. Uh. Oh. So I don't. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's when he's on the ground he's most vulnerable, but the wave will go through his star shield. That's where the gimmick is. Yes. <laughs> we uh, we got beat. We finished off the last of the Robo Masters. Got Star Crash and Super Arrow. Super Arrow is actually pretty cool. It is a damaging arrow that will fly forward, and then when it hits a wall, it will stick kind of like a platform. Uh, if it hits an enemy, it will explode. <gasps> Brother, I must come to fight you after I run from your E-Tanks. But I'm going to do that off screen. So when we return, we're going to finally take on Proto Man. Theoretically, I, I think there's quite a bit left before we even touch Proto Man. Brother. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.